Hello everyone, it's Taylor. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Uh, this is another vlog for digital media literacy class. Today my vlog will be about the Ferguson documentary that we went over in class. For this vlog, I'll just be going over a few tweets I made during the documentary and further elaborating on those tweets and why those moments were so significant to me. Let's get started. So the first tweet I made while watching the film was right here. In this tweet, I was referencing a mother talking about her kids and what she should tell them in reference to the police. What do I tell my 16 year old son? How do I tell my child that the police is killing young black kids in his neighborhoods, his peers? As a young black child with brothers, my parents had to sit down and have that conversation with us. Listen, you have to be careful when you do this. Don't drive late at night, don't do this. And it's just situations that you have to watch out for that you know not to put yourself through and conversations that parents shouldn't have to have with their children. So that really hit home for me. And I know when I'm a parent, I don't want to have to sit with my children and tell them, hey, be careful when you go out with your friends at night because cops in America like to shoot young black kids. I shouldn't have to go down south to visit family and be scared about how law enforcement will react to us in a public setting, like a gas station or otherwise. Another thing that really stuck with me in the film was hearing teachers tell their black students that they need that during work and right and shooting. That was absolutely heartbreaking to me and unbelievable. You were sitting here telling black children that The significance behind this is basically the teachers are saying if it were one of them, that would be okay. One last thing that's going to be this quote. This woman is on the line of the police and we all because there was shooting in the neighborhood but they wanted the police to get there because something bad happened. And the police told her, keep me on the line until the shooting stops. Then we'll be right there. Keep me on the line. Until the shooting is saying, we're not coming until they like each other out. And it's a major problem nationally that the police don't care about young black men. And it really just starts to see people that look like you go through these terrible situations because you think it could have been me. Well, those are all my tweets for today. And closing out, I don't know what to say. As a political scientist, Thank you guys. Bye.